way more than just a muddy mess. Tonight, more bad news for the town of Markleyville, south of Lake Tahoe. People met with the county leaders, including supervisors and Caltrans today, discovering it could take several weeks to reopen Highway 89. I talked with one business owner tonight, frustrated and wanting answers. Damn, dude. All Cameron Johnson could say as he watched the rain and mud run through Markleyville, ultimately washing away business. Business is really rough. Profits are way down. We're just trying to come up, keep the restaurant open, and support the locals who have no way of getting out of is the general manager at Cutthroat Brewing Company, one of several now struggling to stay afloat since the flash flood shut down Highway 89. This is our busiest time of the year, and so we were told it'll be four to six weeks before the road would be reopened. What would that do to your business? Well, we would probably lose $150,000 in revenue. Faith Saletti owns Stonefly Restaurant. Like others, she depends on the summer when business quadruples, but she closed up shop until the high. This is important. This there's one there's one row direct in and out and we can't have it closed. Alpine County economic leaders posted on social media reminding people to support local businesses recovering. I met with artist Marie Bravo within hours of the mudslide. Her basement full of art and supplies nearly filled to the ceiling with mud. My livelihood is all down there underwater. I'll take you outside. The struggle to move past mud and wanting everyone to know they're still open for business. Some people know. And we're trying to provide as much as we can for locals. We love external support. It would help out a lot. Now, while Highway 89 is closed, Caltrans is reminding drivers of other ways to get to the historic town. Visitors can get there from the south via Monitor Pass or using Ebbets Pass, but some say that's way too far to expect people to drive, in some cases turning a 20-minute drive into more than an hour.